No. You guys, you guys got my info. No. You guys, you guys got my info. I'm sure you're good for a day. Well, good morning, sir. If you could, please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position. Hello, my name is Pastor Ernie Merritt. My last name is spelled M-E-R-R-I-T-T, -R -R and I am the senior pastor here at Fundamental Baptist Church. Okay, so we're here in Escondido in front of your church. What happened this morning? You got a phone call. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Alex Rivera, the neighbor across the street, called me uh, somewhere around five or a little bit thereafter and told me that a vehicle had crashed into our church. I immediately... Uh, got on some clothes, grabbed my cell phone, grabbed my Bible, uh, called our deacon chairman on my way over, and uh, then called our uh, deacon treasurer, and he came over. And so I am so thankful. I actually, our, our deacon secretary, and 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 uh, so thankful that these men came over real quickly. Our youth director came by, and uh, other folks from our church. And so I am thankful for uh, the support of uh, God's people. And uh, we here at Fundamental Baptist Church, we just want to reach people with the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We had our uh, week of revival meeting scheduled starting yesterday and uh, going through Friday. We're going to have to make some other arrangements. The meeting is still going to be on. Maybe some outdoor. So we're, we're going we're gonna to strive to reach our community with the gospel of Jesus Christ so that people can receive the Lord Jesus as their personal Savior and escape the flames of hell and have a home in heaven. Okay, so when you got here, what did you find? I found a truck inside our auditorium. All the way in? All the way in. Missed our pianos, missed our organs, missed our evangelist equipment. Uh, took out several chairs and uh, hymnals and uh, took out part of our platform and our pulpit. And the driver, what did he tell you? He uh, expressed uh, his sorrow for what took place. And we understand he was reaching for a pack of cigarettes. That's what I'm understanding, yes, sir. Okay, and so you have no power, no water, because he also took out your water line. That is correct. And so it's going to be a little while before you folks can uh, go back in? Right. We're going to try to get some uh, temporary things in place so that we can meet in another location on our property. But uh, we're, we're hoping to get the water turned back on so that we could have water to our other buildings because he took out our main line. And uh, we're in the process right now of getting some things temporarily dried in. And so I'm thankful for Brother Kiefer, uh, owner of Kiefer and Kiefer, and Mike Frieda, uh, another general contractor is gonna be coming over to help us with the support beam. And I'm just so thankful that these men just came and rose to the occasion so quickly. So the city building inspector came in and they just said, no, not right now. They want us to make sure that we get that uh, support beam in first, but have limited access into that side of our church, yes. No, dumb question. It was a plumbing company truck that uh, ran into your church. That Are is they gonna correct. going to come fix your water for free? I don't believe that that's going to take place. Okay. Sir, I'm so sorry we had to meet this way. Yes, sir. Yes, you have sir. a wonderful day, and I hope everything continues uh, going okay for you. All right. Well, thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. All right. There we